Welcome back. So let's have a quick recap from what we have done in our previous video. So we did go to routing, so PGP, and we configure the templates. So we did disable the default template, but of course we could opt to configure the AS and remain it as enabled. But for clarity's sake, we have configured a new template and for clarity I will put in template here then we put in our AS number so we didn't specify any address family we'll use the default then the router ID we have specified which is the loopback IP address of R1 so click OK so we have modified the template and we also configured the connections so under BGP connection, so we have made two IBGP connections for the local role to R2 and also to R3. We are R1. So we have IBGP connection to R2 with the remote address of the R2. And we also made an IBGP connection to R3. So the remote address is for R3. So granting that the other side, meaning R2 side and R3 side also configure their BGP templates and BGP connections. So if we go into the BGP session, so there is an IBGP session for R2 and R3. So you'll see or you'll notice the uptime and remote address of the respective BGP in a way neighbor. So that two and that three. So then after configuring templates and bgp connection and establishing the session perhaps you will pan all right i have my bgp session established but yeah what happened so are there any changes made or any additional changes in my microtik router for example for r1's perspective so if we go to ip are there any BGP routes? So yes, I can see OSPF routes and connected routes, but do I see any BGP connections or BGP routes? So the answer is none. You don't see it here in the IP routes. So if you could remember, if we go back to our OSPF configuration, so if we try to establish OSPF and try to redistribute routes so we go to the instance and we go to the redistribute settings and we redistribute what we will want to for example either we redistribute static or connected networks to our ospf so if you go back to the routing bgp configuration and take a look at for example templates let's see if in template we can have extra and yes there is this setting of output redistribute if we go to attributes and take a look at some settings that we're in we can see some network so there is in filter there is this output network setting that we could configure but before we go any further so i've connected to a microtik that is a version 6 router os okay 6.49.7 and try to recall what is the bgp configuration in version 6 so if we close this and go to routing and bgp and you will see that there is this network tabs and you could click new and you could put in the network that you want to advertise now back in our r1 which is a version 7 so if we take a look closely so routing bgp so we have these tabs connection templates but we don't have that networks tab anymore so suppose our r2 and our r3 has some networks that we wish to advertise so how will we do it in router os version 7 so in router os version 7 networks to be advertised are managed via address lists so let's for example have a network that you want to advertise let's say in r2 there is this network 100.100.100.0/24 again just for example purposes only and for r3 
okay so you have 200 at 200 at 200 that's 0 slash 24 so r2 would like to advertise that 100 network and r3 would like to advertise that 200 network so networks to be advertised are managed via address list so you might wonder is it this one ip addresses because the windows name the window name is address list so this is not the one so of course if you have gone through microtech version 6 configuration you will know that the address list meaning was via ip firewall then you have this address list tab then you can create a new address list and put in the list name and the address that you want to so we are in our r2 because uh, for our example purposes so let's say r2 would like to advertise the network 100 at 100 at 100 at 0 slash 24 so we will go to ip firewall address lists then let's expand this address list then click new so of course we need to click enable let's expand again this address list so we could have the comment and we could have the list if you have already an existing ipv4 firewall address list or ip address firewall address list then you can have the drop down but we don't have so for the sake of clarity we'll just put in bgp advertise networks then we only have that one network 100 that 100 that 100 that zero okay zero slash 24 and for comment purposes let's just put it this one the bgp advertise network so it's the first step is to create an address list and the corresponding address for that address list apply and click ok and we now have our firewall address list the next step in advertising networks is to make sure or to ensure that this network is routable so if we go to our ip routes because we just fictitiously assume that there is that network 100 at 100 at 100 that's 0 slash 24 for r2 but we don't have really in our topology so either we yes we will create some interfaces to have that network or we could create what we call a black hole route so this is a necessary step to always ensure that the network you want to advertise exists in the routing table or the BGP will not announce it. So let's create a black hole route. So we go to new and let's expand this routes. So basically we'll just have that destination that we want similar in our IPv4 address list. Of course you need to click one as enable so let's put in a comment so that we don't forget that this is for our advertised networks but obviously not necessary then you will scroll down okay and just select black hole so put in the destination and put in the checkbox on the black hole and we'll just click apply and click ok and you'll now have bgp advertised networks which is actually on a black hole setting so for clarity you could go to the this one and find in the black hole so to add more column so you add in the black hole column and you will see that among all the routes that we have the connected route the ospf route so only this route that we have put statically so is a black hole route with a setting yes so now that the routing table is settled obviously our ip firewall address list are already also indicated with the address that we want to advertise so it's time to go back to our bgp so if we go to bgp and connection and i will put in the advertise network so we go to filter and the output network and from here you could see the drop down so the bgp advertise networks so if we didn't create an ipv4 ip address list we would not seen this 
BGP Advertise Networks in the drop down of the output network. So let's select it and click OK and see what happens. So we have only configured it on R1 and not on the other connections and we will test it and see what are the change made. So now back in our R1 and see what changes were made because of R2 advertising that network. So if we go to IP routes and if you take a look closely we now have this bgp route so dynamic active b or small letter b for bgp this is the network that we have fictitiously advertised and it is on going to our r2 loopback address and the ibgp distance of administrative distance of 200 so that's change number one another change is if you go to routing bgp and you go to session so if you take a look closely so before the prefix count is zero so like for example for r3 we didn't advertise any network but since we have advertised some networks in our r2 the prefix count is increased and it is now one so here in our r3 so let's do the advertise networks but this time instead of simply just going to our GUI and going to IP firewall address list then the IP routes and finally configuring the connection and putting in the filters so let's do instead the router OS command line let's begin with the address list so IP firewall address list and of course we could do a print and we don't have any ip address list so obviously you can press f1 and these are the choices so we could do an add and if we can press f1 and what are the settings that we could add in to add an ip address list so obviously we could start with the address which is 200, 200, 200, that's 0 slash 24. This time, comment. Okay, so BGP advertise network. Then disable equals no. Then the list is the name of the list. So it's still the same BGP advertise network. Okay, of course we can put time out but not necessary for this example our example is just to add the address list so ip firewall address list add address this address comment disable equals no and the list so if we press enter and we do a print so we now have an address list so similarly if we go to our gui firewall address list we now have our address list Next is to ensure it exists in our routing table. So we could check our routing table, IP route print, and we don't have that 200 route, fictitious 200 route. So let's put it in via creating a black hole route. Okay, so we could just type in IP route, then type add, but press F1 to check. And yes, there is add and f1 again what are the needed settings so for us is comment disabled and the destination address so let's begin with comment equals pgp advertise network then disabled is obviously no then destination address is the 200 network so 200.200.200.0 slash 24 and finally, we'll set it as black hole. So we'll type black hole. So we press enter and it was accepted. And if we do an IP route print, so we do now have our PGP advertised network. And we have this in the GUI as well, obviously. And we can expand this. We could add in the column black hole to really verify that indeed this route that we have added 
is a black hole route. So now the final step is to edit the existing BGP connection. So remember we already have a BGP connection to R1 and R2 and we just need to edit it to put the output network. So in command line, so we'll just do our routing pgp connection of course we could print and really verify what number or item number that we will need to edit so in our case we will edit zero because that's the connection to r1 so we type in routing bgp connection again you could press f1 and we don't need to add because it's already there so we need to set to change item property so set if you press f1 you need to put in the value okay so if we scroll okay so the number or the list number so we will need the list number zero so if we press f1 or it's already here so this there is a setting output network so output dot network okay and if we just tab in it will autocomplete because there is only one IPv4 address list or IP address list in our firewall. So I, uh, BGP hyphen advertise network is the list and we press enter. So that is now our setting. If we do a print again with our BGP connection and see the change that we have made. So in the list zero or our connection to R1 there is this output network in our number one or to r2 there is no output network so back in our r1 so we could go goi again but in the motive of going to command line so we could verify by ip route print and yes we now have a new bgp route which is the 200 network so now coming from r3 with the administrative distance of 200 and finally if we go to routing pgp session then print the session and take a look closely at our r3 so we have connection to r2 we have connection to r3 so you now have the prefix count one so similarly with the r2 as well so prefix count is one and the R3 prefix count is 1 and that's about it in advertising networks in PGP.